you do back there? I work Parks and Rec. Parks and Rec. But I work for the county, though, so I get a lot of these bureaucracy bullshit that we have to deal with. My eight levels of bosses that I have to answer to, and just the people that are stupid above you that get to call shots, which makes no sense. The people I find to be most awake is my work as a magnet for military, police, and government. Correct. Are the ones, those are the most important. Because you guys are dealing with the bullshit. Yeah. Like you just brought up. You're dealing with the bullshit every day. And you're seeing it. And most most of the people, you know, know. They're asleep, like you said. They think it's all a game. And we're, we have the fortune of place to have Disneyland right next to us. So everybody thinks it's just very dream every day. Yeah. And then you can go to the city and have Hollywood. Right. So. What do you think is going to happen, though, if she steals the elections from, uh, from Trump? Yeah. Uh, you know, as the economy, I think we're going to be Hopefully. If she steals the election from Trump? I think it's better than what's going to happen if he gets in there. Really? I honestly think we're going to go to World War III with this guy. Uh, I know we're going to go to World War III when she gets in. Oh, so it's a, it's a lesser two years? Look, not even that. Not even close. This was an election entirely about the people versus the corruption in the government. Okay. That's why Sanders rose high on the left and Trump on the right. Right. Because he's not a Republican any more than Sanders was, you know, Democrat. a Democrat. All right. So it was about the anger that the people feel. Right. Now, you've got a career criminal in there that we know for 35 years she hasn't done a damn thing but her interest. I mean, everybody knows this woman's, a, a, I mean, it comes out daily. Yeah. This man's a question mark. But it is about this, and he said it when he accepted the nomination. Globalism against nationalism. Our credo will no longer be globalism is to be American. This is about forming a one world government, which Clinton is all about. The trade, the TPP, get the economic blocks, you know, just free trade, bust the borders, have, you know, no more borders. She's a globalist. Right. Globalist and tyrants. Tyrants have always wanted a one world government. This man's a nationalist. He He's wants to protect the home. Thank you. That's, 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 that's what it's about. And that's what this fight is all about. He's got $500 trillion against him. Uh, Wall Street is not giving him any, no more than $19,000. That's all he's got. You know? Right, right. She's got $43 million that we know of from Wall Street. He's got $500 trillion against him. A tire globalist criminal network doesn't want him to get in because once he gets in, this is the one thing he said that made me go, okay, let's see this. Let's see this. Right. He said this a year ago. We're about ready to go ahead and anniversary of it tomorrow. You elect the president, and you will find out who really brought down the Green powers. Unquote. Yeah, so they... I mean, didn't he chase Bush out with 9-11? Yeah. Bush was going, and he went, Trump went, 9-11, 9-11, man, let's talk. And what happened to Bush? Him and his $145 million exit stage left. And he's been quiet since. This man has surrounded himself with 9-11 truthers. He's appeared on Alex Jones' show. Do you think he'll, he'll, he'll out everybody? He's built buildings. He knows how they, 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 you can't collapse them like that. This man will out them, and that's why they're trying everything in the world to keep them out. All right, we'll see. I, li I like that truth, so you yeah. can't really deny that. You have a good one. All right, brother.